You're watching KRDE TV 12 Joplin, your station for our kids. Good evening, I'm Scott Holman. Coming up on KODE News, it's time to start preparing... Six ...with Jim Jackson, Sherry Sanders, Ken Ford Weather, Jim Odie Sports, and the entire KSN News Center team. Good evening, everyone. The man accused in the slashing death of... Seinfeld, only on KODE TV, the one to watch. The city of Joplin answers criticism about the way they handled severance packages for two former employees. We'll also talk with local citizens and get their opinions on this controversial issue. And there are three new movies opening at the box office today. We'll have a preview in our Now Showing report. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Action 12 News at 5. I'm Jimmy Seidlecki. And I'm Mallory Maddox. Joplin City Manager is standing by his decision. And the Douglas clan teams up on the big screen in one of three new films opening today. We'll have those stories right after this. This is Action 12 News with Jimmy Sidalecki, Mallory Maddox, meteorologist Ray Foreman, and sports with Bruce Vonderhaar. This is your Action 12 News at 5. The closed caption portion of... The Joplin city manager finds himself in the hot seat when it comes to answering questions about a former police chief. There could be a common thread between all the suspects in the Joplin murder cases. And after 38 years of teaching the area's best and brightest, one local college professor is calling it quits. Good evening. You're watching Action 12 News at 6. I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Jimmy Seidlecki. More than a year has passed and people are... And after 38 years on the job, a local college professor is calling it quits. We'll take you to his retirement ceremony next. This is Action 12 News with Jimmy Sidalecki, Mallory Maddox, meteorologist Ray Foreman, and sports with Bruce Vonderhaar. This is your Action 12 News at 6. The close. The severance pay of two former city employees is the issue at debate today in Joplin. We'll hear from the city manager on that issue. 15 million Iraqis gathered around the country today to celebrate newfound religious freedom, but to also call for a quick end to U.S. intervention in the country. And a local college paper is recognized for excellence. Good evening. You're watching Action 12 News at 10. I'm Jimmy Seidlick. And I'm Mallory Maddox. Joplin city manager is standing by his decision after two city... That story is next when Action 12 News at 10 continues. This is Action 12 News with Jimmy Sidalecki, Mallory Maddox, meteorologist Ray Foreman, and sports with Bruce Vonderhaar. This is your Action 12 News at 10. The closed caption portion of this newscast is being brought to you by St. John's Regional Medical Center. Exceptional doctors, exceptional care. Three mile count at Roper Kia, Missouri's number one volume Kia dealer. This is KSN 16, your hometown news at 10. Good evening. Drivers got a little bit of relief in the four states today thanks to a local church. The Family Life Assembly of God and Bose One Stop, both in Pittsburgh, work together to help out area drivers. Bose One This is KSN 16, your hometown news at 10 with Jim Jackson, Tiffany Alanis, meteorologist Yelly Vandy, and Sean Terrell Sports. One person is dead and several others are in critical condition after an early afternoon accident on a busy four-state interstate. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Culler. Jim and Tiffany have the night off. The accident... Live from KODE 12, you're watching Action 12 News. Good morning, four states. And welcome back to Good Morning Four States. It is a finally Friday morning and with You're watching Good Morning Four States. 
with Alan Matthews and Shannon Bruffett. This is Action 12 News. And welcome back to Good Morning Four States. It is Friday morning. We got a winner a bit quicker than I thought we would. A job one business is adding more jobs. We'll show you who's looking to hire right before the holiday season. And new details about how a Southeast Kansas man got his hands on explosives. The story in his own words. Next, a taped confession from a murder suspect may never go before a jury. How it could be days before a judge makes that decision. Live from KODE 12, you're watching Action 12 News at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gretchen Bolander. Brian has the night off. A taped confession from a man charged in the rape and murder of a nine-year-old girl may not make it to trial. You're watching Action 12 News at 10 with Brian Dorman. Weather with meteorologist Ray Borman and sports with Andy Searcy. And now from the KSN Live First Alert Doppler Storm Center, this is your forecast first. Good morning, everybody. It is finally Friday. Very nice morning here in the four states. Temperatures right now in the upper. Live from the KSN studios, this is Hometown Today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessa Lewis. And I'm Caitlin McCardle. Today is Friday, October 22nd. Happy Friday air. You're watching KSN Hometown Today with Philip Mitchell and meteorologist Caitlin McCardle with it. You're at KSN. You're watching KSN, your hometown news. Live from the KSN studios, this is KSN, your hometown news at 5. Search and recovery outputs can... You're watching KSN, your hometown news. With Tony Valliere. Weather with meteorologist Gary Bandy. We are KSN, your hometown news. Live from the KSN studios, this is your hometown news at 10. Nary, a toddler is recovering tonight after being attacked by a... You're watching KSN, your hometown news with Jim Jackson. Tony Vellier. Weather with meteorologist Gary Bandy. And sports with Eric Connect. We are KSN, your hometown news. Now in high definition, you're watching KODE Action 12 News at 10. Good evening. Now in high definition. You're watching KODE Action 12 News at 10 with Jennifer Pinate, meteorologist Ray Foreman, and Andy Searcy. Now in high definition, this is KSN Local News with Philip Mitchell, Jessica Shear, meteorologist Gary Bandy, and Eric Connect. We are KSN Local News. Coming up, find out how a local district's bus maintenance is paying off. Work will soon begin to reconstruct an intersection in Monette, how it's a collaboration between the city and MoDOT. And we have the latest on President Trump's immigration policy reversal. You're watching Good Morning Four States. Good morning. It is 6.02 a.m. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Four States. I'm Katie Owen. I'm Coleman Bandy. We are seeing fairly nice temperatures this morning. Also a lot. Stay with us.
This is Good Morning Four States with Katie Owen and Coleman Bandy. Coming up, find out how a local district's bus maintenance is paying off. And questions have come up about parking with the proposed Performing Arts Center in Joplin. What the city and Connect to Culture are doing to solve the problem. Next, road construction is in full swing in the city of Neosho this summer. What area's drivers might want to avoid. You're watching KOTE Action 12 News, the early edition. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy Searcy. The city of You're watching KOTE Action 12 News, the early edition with Andy Searcy and meteorologist Ray Foreman. Tonight. A shooting in Joplin, who authorities have behind bars. And local bands come together to spread one message, acceptance, how they're raising awareness about bullying and suicide. And a local community hosts Flag Day a week early. Now this is a good weekend for residents. The news starts now. You're watching KODE Action 12 News Weekend Edition. A man is left in critical condition after a shooting on a Joplin Highway. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Austin Highslip. Just after 2... This is Action 12 News Weekend Edition with Austin Highslip, meteorologist Adam Shorwinski, and George Balecki. Your Midwest... This is KSN Local News Today with Aaron Sullivan, meteorologist Chase Bullman, and Hank Rudd. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KSN, your local news today. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Today is Thursday, June 21st. I'm Jasmine Bailey. A warning this morning for anyone planning to cool off in a swimming pool this summer. This is KSN Local News Today with Jasmine Bailey, meteorologist Chase Bullman, and Hank Rudd. Farms large and small starts now. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KSN, your local news at 6. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica Shear with first the governor and then Lieutenant Governor changing faces in Missouri. A lot of question and a lot of attention is focused on filling elected positions that go vacant. Now... KSN, your local news at 6 with Jessica Shear, meteorologist Matt Postdyke, and Eric Kinnett. Two bulls, your local news at 10. He rode the bus to school and did not get off. And this is KSN Local News Weekend with Ashley Godwin, meteorologist Joy Bentonhausen, and Kevin Ryans. Mallory Maddox on your Action 12 News. Sullivan, only on KSN Local News.